Hey everyone, uh, thank you again for, for logging on, viewing these. Um, I know that I have some people that are watch these each time. I appreciate that. If you would share that with your friends and the family members, it would be awesome to be able to get more of the word out to individuals um, uh, so that we can just broaden our community and our, our outreach to people um, and patients. Uh, one of the things that we went over today, this morning, before we before we start each day, we get together as a group and, and talk about the upcoming things that are happening within our offices and some of the things that we're seeing. And today we talked a lot about the success of our patients. And um, one thing that brought to my mind was this, this idea about treating it early. Um, we're all in a certain situation in life where we want to make the most of uh, each day. Um, we want to do what we can to be proactive um, to make sure that we have the proper treatment, proper stimulus, um, uh, the proper care, um, that we can be healthy as long as possible and we can do those things. And there's um, tinnitus people that I've been seeing in my, my office as of recently, just appreciating the, the, the relief that they're getting for their tinnitus needs. Um, there, some have been frustrated because they've often heard there's nothing that can be done. And, um, there's no cure. Even though there is no cure, there is definite treatment. Um, it would be sad if we just stopped uh, treating things because there is no cure and just had no hope. Um, diabetes, there is no cure, but we will certainly want to treat it. Um, Parkinson's, there's no cure, but we certainly want to treat it and slow the progression. And with the same is with tinnitus. When we look at look at the symptoms and the signs. Um, it's devastating for patients to leave a place um, hearing that there is no help and there's nothing they can do. And, and it's amazing if we can identify it early and treat it early, the success we get. Um, even if we, even if it, the best time to plant an oak tree is uh, 10 years ago, um, but the next best time is today. And so even if we've waited 10 years on our tinnitus, let's get it taken care of so that we can we can start to see the progression decrease. We can start to see the influence of the tinnitus weaken in our life and that we'd be able to have better quality. Um, those who struggle with tinnitus, please reach out. I know that we've, we uh, want to see, see those individuals, um, give them some hope, treat their tinnitus and their hearing loss if there's any. Um, appreciate again everybody who comes on this and helps us uh, and supports us. Um, the cause is there. The cause is big. There's there's several several thousands and millions of people who struggle with hearing loss in the U.S. Um, and I can't help everybody, but I would like to help as many as we can. So help us in this process. Get that word out. In other news, I, I posting uh, an interview again with Jeff McKinnon. Um, this one's pretty exciting to me because he talks about some things of. Uh, that you can do um, and go to learn more about estates without any obligation, without any, um, without any, any money exchange or anything. It's it's free education about about the estates, and you can even bring your own attorney or whoever's uh, navigating through your own estate to these uh, this meeting. Um, just give them a call. He'll have the information on that. What I appreciate about that is we're in line. We always just want to provide people with more information so they can make the best choice for themselves. Um, we uh, we strongly believe in Intermountain Audiology that we can we can help and um, and do that. And so we would love for people to come here. But if not, let's just give you the information so that you can make a wise decision, so you can be educated about your hearing health, tinnitus needs, cognitive support, all of those things. So. Uh, Please reach out if you need any information from, from me at Intermountain Audiology. Listen to uh, Jeff McKinnon's last, our, our last exchange, our interview that we've done over several, several times here. Um, write down uh, the information that you need if you're interested in um, coming to a free class to be able to learn more about uh, estates and, and getting that in line and answer and ask questions to attorneys without any financial obligation, right? Um, get again given that free education out so that you can be better better prepared at the end of the um, at the end of this okay 
All right. Well, I appreciate everybody. Um, have a great day. I'm excited for the spring. I hope you guys are too. Have a great day. Bye.